Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We have found out that our Crimson Loft Wing is missing, and the wing ceremony is about to start, so we need to uh, delay the race first, and then find our bird. So let's talk to Zelda here. Link, I'm going to tend to my bird and make sure he's not hurt. I'll catch up with you later. Go and see if anyone in town knows what happens to your loft wing. Alright, and yeah, that's the plan, so... Uh, let's head back down. First off, we of course need to talk to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the race. Uh, that would definitely not be good to have to uh, have that go on without us. It's a pretty big deal, so we want to make sure that gets delayed. Of course, he's standing right out here, right where we left him, so let's talk to him. No. What's wrong, Link? You're looking a little pale. What? Your loft wing is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now. How will you make it back in time to fly into the ceremony? Looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not you can find that bird on time. Oh, come on, man, really? <laughs> I see. So the headmaster has summoned me. All right, then. I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. All right, sweet. Well, that's good, then. Glad he was understanding. All right, so let's talk to this chick out here. Don't men open doors for a lady anymore? How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh. Oh, it's you, Link. Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at school the whole time. Pivot's the one to ask about birds. I saw him downstairs a minute ago. Why don't you go look for him there? Alright, hey, it sounds like not a bad idea, of course. So we're gonna go talk to Pippin. I mean, he's the upperclassman, the mentor type. You know, maybe he'd have a little bit of advice for us. Uh, if he was inside the academy the whole time, I don't know if he would have seen anything about the uh, whole disappearance, but, you know, couldn't hurt to check. So let's go ahead and head downstairs here. He should be, yep, yeah, standing right here. You're not still wandering around the academy, are you? What? Your loft wing won't come when you call for it. Why would a guardian bird not come when it's called? You know, I've never heard of this ever happening before, so I can't even tell you what you're doing wrong. But a good senior never hangs an underclassman out to dry. We'll figure this out together. You go to the plaza and ask people there if they know anything. In the meantime, I'll ask around here. Alright, hey, sounds good. So yeah, we'll head into the plaza. Pippet's gonna gather his own information. Maybe we can uh, come up with something together. Let's talk to Fledge, see if he knows anything. Hey, what's wrong, Link? You don't know where your bird is? What are you talking about, Link? You called it, but it didn't even come to you? So that means... Oh, I knew it. Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. R really, I was, uh, talking to myself. You know, like I do. Uh, you're getting a little suspicious here, buddy. You sure you don't know anything? That's pretty serious, Link. Hope you find your bird soon. Uh-huh, alright. Well, we'll keep him in mind. He seems to be hiding something here. Right. Oh, Link! Hey, um, I should probably tell you... Ah, uh, forget it. Never mind. Sorry. Alright, dude, you're, you're really suspicious here, man. What do you know? Come on, tell me. Huh. It's pretty serious, Link. Hope you find your bird soon. Alright, well, I guess we're not gonna get anything out of it. We'll definitely keep him in mind, though. Alright, but for now, I guess we should do what Pippet told us and uh, check out in the plaza if anyone knows what happened. Yeah, it's a pretty open place, and this will also give us a chance to explore kind of the rest of Skyloft. Um, now that these events have happened, you can see uh, the gate's been opened to us, and we can explore the rest of the town, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll get to the rest of it in due time. I'm pretty much just going to head where we need to go. You can see there's all kinds of different pathways, but, you know, we'll need to go down each of them at some point, so we might as well just take them in stride. Got some kid rolling into a tree here. Oh, man. <laughs> Not very good at it, huh? Hold up, Link. Hey, hey, Link. Could you help me with something? All you have to do is use A to dash and roll into the tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then shake the nunchuck while you're in front of the tree to BAM! Do a roll right into it. So come on, please. Yeah, sure, I'll shake the nunchuck. Alright, so yeah, we can do our roll, of course, by dashing and, like I said, shaking the nunchuck. Right into the tree. Whoa! You did it! A sky stag beetle. Wait up! Alright, so he's gonna chase his bug around. And we get a rupee for it, so that works. Alright, so let's head into the plaza, pretty much just straight ahead along this road. Uh, you'll know it when you see it, I mean, that's pretty much a plaza, so... Let's go ahead and check it out, looks like we've got some dudes over here. You know, Groose, that sure was a pain, what with all the scratching and pecking. 
Of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was going to go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Whoa, Link. So, uh, yeah, just how long have you been standing there? What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda upon the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. You think his tiny brain got confused by the clouds and got lost? <laughs> nice hair. <laughs> oh, come on. There you go. You lay off my dew right now or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I got the slickest pompadour in town. Yeah, something like that, I guess. You have the only one, I think. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you were dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh, Zelda. Hey, nah, it's, uh... Oh, <laughs> wow. Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you, uh... <laughs> Alright, man. <laughs> forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Man, what's that guy's deal? <laughs> Such a jerk. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. No, you think? Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your birds, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. Alright, so there's our introduction to Groose, of course, one of the main rec returning characters in the game. And quite a character he is. <laughs> He's a pretty interesting fellow, but written well and pretty well done. So, you know, I don't have any beef with him other than the fact that he's kind of a jerk. But, well, you know, I guess that's just how he is. All right, so we're going to check out here, see if we can learn any more about the disappearance of our bird. Groose and his crew are definitely behind this. I mean, you should be able to figure that out by now. So <laughs> now let's ask around. I believe we should be able to head out in front of the sparring hall here. Yeah, you can see uh, Pippet's kind of confronted Fletch here, and he's got a little speech bubble above him. So let's see what he's got to say. Yeah. Link, perfect timing. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fletch what he knew, he started acting weird. Yeah, tell me about it. Aww. I'm so sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out I told you... It sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. <sighs> Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away... Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. It sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. 
That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with X. Yep, so we can uh, recenter it there. <laughs> Check out the map. You can see, uh, looks like that's where we need to head. So, cool. Oh. You know how to read a map, right? Press cross at any time to see a map of the area. If you get lost, just press cross. Hey, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> Forgive me, Link. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. All right, so yeah, it's uh, kind of bugging us to check out our map, which we already did, but well, just in case you forgot, right there. So there we go. All right, so it looks like we've got a lead. Let's go and check it out. One more thing, Link. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember that there are some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the Knight Commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. Ah, well that's a pretty good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Definitely wouldn't want to be caught off guard, so... Yeah, thankfully we are right in front of the sparring hall. Looks like we might be able to get our first sword here. Sounds cool. Alright, so let's talk to the Knight Commander here. Hey, it's Link. So, you still want to get in some sword practice, even though today's the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. Alright, well, he's just gonna give it to us. Awesome. Alright, so in the back room, here is our first chest of the game. Let's open it. And inside we find, of course... The practice swords. Students at the Knight Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. You can press 1 at any time to look at the items you're carrying, of course. Alright, so now we've got the uh, sword on our back. We can check out our gear here. Right, let's turn the page, and you can see, yes indeed, we do have our practice sword right there. Man, this thing keep, keeps getting off-centered. I don't know what's going on with it, but... Uh, again, hopefully that won't persist. I'm gonna need to look into that, but... Uh, we should be alright for now, so let's head back out into the sparring hall. Maybe talk to him a little bit more. Oh yeah, you want to learn about how to use a sword? No, not really, I kind of know already. That's right, you're good with the sword. But practice is everything. You don't become a sword master sitting on your rear end. You've got to practice those fundamentals, like using Z to target enemies. It's not glamorous, but that's a swordsman's bread and butter. Try getting in some good practice on those logs. If the sword doesn't respond quite the way you want it to, try big, vertical overhead practice swings in front of you to <laughs> get back into the action. Once you slice up those logs, I'll set it up so you can try out your big move. Yeah, try big overhead swings. Yeah, that's code speak for, hey, if the Wii Remote doesn't work, do that to fix it. <laughs> Alright, so we can practice on these logs here. I think we're going to have to to be able to get out of here anyway, so... Uh, you can see it's one-to-one -one motion controls. This is, of course, the big gimmick with this game. You can move it around. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, that's kind of cool, just being able to move it wherever you want. Of course, you can swing in whatever direction you swing the Wii Remote. It works pretty good for the most part, but some of them, like these, can be kind of weird. It looks like that one worked, and that one worked. But sometimes you can interpret that as a vertical swing, or sometimes as horizontal. It can be a little bit iffy sometimes, but hopefully it'll be alright. And of course, the stab. That's right, Link. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try a spin attack? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Great. Now I'm going to surround you with logs. You need to cut them all without moving from that spot. All you have to do is swing the Wii Remote and nunchuck horizontally at the same time. Give it a shot. Alright, so we are surrounded. Spin attack. Good one. That sure looked like it felt good. So, why don't you try a fatal blow to close out our session? Yeah, sure, let's get to it. Alright, when your enemy is down, target it with Z and swing the Wii Remote and Nunchuck at the same time to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log. When it's down, try finishing it off with this technique. Alright, so of course this time we can do a side slash, fatal blow, there we go. That's the way. A fatal blow is also an effective move to use right after you've used your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you have to swing the Wii Remote and Nunchuck quickly before they get back on their feet. Now, it's on you, Link has got to be so confused. What is a Wii Remote? What's a Nunchuck? <laughs> Alright, so let's head out. Hey. Uh, hey, Link! You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing, sneaking out with that? What? Your loft wing's missing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I can make an exception just this once, but remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. So I don't want to see you swinging it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a ton of trouble over this, so here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first. Once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? 
Yeah, yeah, we'll do. So yeah, that's that's what I think he means. You have to complete the sort of log training session here before you can leave. But since we've already done it, let's just go ahead and head outside. We've got our nifty new sword in tow. And we're ready to check out the uh, waterfall cavern in search of our loft one. Awesome. Let's talk to Pippet one more time, just because he's a cool guy. Listen, as an upperclassman, I've got some advice for you. There's something you should always do before you go somewhere dangerous. You should find a bird statue and send your prayers to the goddess to save your progress. Make it part of your routine. The bird statues you can pray to are marked on your map. It should be easy to find one. Yep, of course. So, one more reminder about saving. It's pretty important, I guess, so you don't screw up and lose your progress. Alright, we're gonna get interrupted here to uh, kind of introduce another new thing here. Well, not entirely new, but uh, it's been revamped quite a bit. Hey, friend, walk yourself on over here and say hello. All right, I guess we'll do that. How do you do? I'm what you call a Sheikah Stone. Glad to meet you. I'm a stone of few words, so I'll get right to it. You're going to find yourself in puzzling circumstances as you make your way through this world. If you should find yourself stuck and you have no idea how to move forward, come see me. I've got nothing for you right now, but down the road when you're feeling stuck, the things I'll show you may just get you back on the right track. Good luck out there, friend. All right, so that's a Sheikah stone, of course, made to resemble the gossip stones that we're all familiar with. Uh, this one will talk and give us video hints later on down the road if you need them. Um, I'll never be talking to this guy, but he's there just in case you would happen to need him. So uh, let's go ahead and make our way back into the main part of town. We, of course, need to head over to the waterfall here in order to uh, hopefully find our loft wing. So let's go ahead and get to it. If we check it out on our map, now you can see we kind of got a little bit of a walk. We got to kind of go around a bit, but it's not too bad. And of course, there's plenty of stamina fruit placed along the way, so you should be able to get most of this in one continuous dash. Go a little bit out of our way here, but that's not too bad. So yeah, this whole dashing thing really helps you move around a lot quicker. It's definitely nice. That one. All right, and here we are. This is where the uh, waterfall area is, as you can see. So I've got to hop our way across some stones. Of course, auto jump takes care of this for us. Just walk along and it'll take care of it. Sweet. All right, so we got a statue over here with some guy. Look at this thing. Who knows how long the statue's been here? And it only has one eye. Poor thing. You probably know this, but you can press C to look around. Yeah, of course. So we can uh, press C here and you can see kind of go into first person mode. So we got this statue here with only one eye. Believe it or not, this will play a factor much, much later, but uh, for now, I guess it's just something to look at. So let's go ahead and make our way up. You can see this is definitely the cavern we need to enter. Whoa. Yep, so Link can sense the loft wing is trapped inside, so yep. Certainly the place we need to go, of course, in order to get in, we're going to have to cut these things down. Usually I just do a side slash and then a vertical slash, and that'll let you get in. Uh, if you just do a side slash, then they'll, like, still be standing there and you can't really get past them, so you know, I, have to, I just do it that way and you get in pretty well. Alright, so here we are. We're going to encounter our first enemies, of course, bats. That's generally how it goes. Uh, you can pretty much just swing your sword wildly at them. It doesn't really matter, especially if there's a big group of them. And of course, they drop big red recovery hearts sometimes, restores one heart of life, which we're all familiar with. So, uh, ooh, some nice rupees down here, actually. Oh, didn't get the green one. All right, got another enemy here. I believe this is the chew of this game. So, if you slash it, it's done. You know, pretty simple. Uh, of course, there are bigger ones that will split into uh, other smaller ones once you kill them. So, we'll get to those in a bit. But for now, let's just keep going. Try not to go too fast. It's really easy to get caught by those chews, and you have to, like, shake yourself free. And uh, you want to make sure to take care of the bats. Unfortunately, with this current sword, they actually take two hits, which is kind of a pain. But, you know, I guess what can you do? All right, so, yeah, this is a green rupee, if you didn't know. Yeah, this game does that, too. Kind of the old Twilight Princess thing, you know, where it, uh, <laughs> it tells you about every single rupee you pick up for the first time. But uh, I guess we'll live with it. So we can dash up this slope here. Oh, there we go. Nice, that was pretty good. So yeah, pretty simple. I mean, obviously, none of these enemies are supposed to be a threat. This is really just introducing you to combat, so, you know, they're mostly just going to fly around you and be harmless. Uh, they will charge you, though, if you take too long. It only does, like, half a heart of damage. And, of course, in this game, they start you out with six hearts instead of the usual three, so they're a little bit more friendly, I guess. Well, that's how it goes. We've got some pots here we can break. Some recovery hearts if you need them. And a little chest. 
which contains 20 rupees, so that's nice. Oh, don't climb up the thing. Yeah, <laughs> that happens every now and then too when you're dashing around. You end up climbing up walls you don't really need to. Alright, so there we go. One of these finally dropped. I was waiting for This is a jelly blob. Enemies will drop things like this every now and then as will be introduced to in the screen here. Basically, there's a lot of different materials you can be picking up. We can use those to upgrade our various weapons and items we'll be acquiring throughout the game. So, of course, always be on the lookout for those. Alright, we're getting near the end of the cavern here. We're gonna have quite a few bats in this area. There we go. That was, that was kind of a weird looking swing because he was like looking straight up while he was doing it. It was kind of funny. Alright, so once we get over here, cut some of this grass if we want. And you can see there's a little passage we can call it crawl through to get 40 rupees. So you definitely want to check that out. You can see we're already over 100, so it's going pretty quickly. Got some more bats over here, I believe. Oh, there they are. There's one. Alright, and through the opening. So, of course, very simple. None of those enemies are difficult at all. You can basically just swing your sword around wildly. That won't always be the case, but for those enemies, it just so happens to be. Of course, we can save if we want. We don't really need to, so let's continue. Link. Hey, Link. I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfalls, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Grease and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who... who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry Link, I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Hmm, alright, well that was a little strange, but I guess we'll just take it in stride. Let's go ahead and continue. And as we round the corner... Look, there he is! No doubt about it, that's your loft wing, Link. Oh man, he's <laughs> going crazy in there. This is kind of cool. When you walk up to him, you can see he kind of calms down and just looks at you through the thing. He's kind of shaking a little bit, you know, like he's scared, but... Uh, we definitely got to get him out of this, so we can, uh... Oh, not, well, I guess we can cut the barrels, too. We can cut the ropes here. Yeah, usually a couple swipes will do it. Yeah, this can be a, it can be a little weird on the positioning. You can't Z-target these ropes, so you kind of just have to make sure you're standing, you know, at the appropriate distance away. But there we go. Cut all the ropes and we free this guy. We should hurry, Link. Now that your loft wing's free, you should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I, I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling, almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below, but I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it, and our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see for myself. Oh, sorry, Link. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Just leap off the edge and press down. Don't worry about falling. Your bird will catch you for sure this time. Alright, so off we go, and while we're falling here, we just press down on the on the uh, D-pad here. There it is, so press it. We'll whistle, call for the bird, and he picks us up. 
Nice. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. And you do that every single time, too. It's like every time you take off, it's such a cool little animation. All right, so, whoa, man, we're flying. Check this out. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, yeah, you basically just use the uh, Wii Remote itself for flying. Don't need control sticks or anything. Uh, she's going to sit here and run over the basics with us. So I'll just kind of follow behind her. Uh, when you want to speed up, we swing the Wii Remote up. That's what I'm doing there when we flap. So we point the Wii Remote down, and you'll gain some speed like that, which is pretty neat. And yeah, I think he's flying pretty well. So, yeah, there you can, so yeah, this is pretty much just all going on. Uh, we can press A to charge to get a burst of speed, like this. It's much like, of course, riding a Pona in the previous games. You know, you had the carrots to give you the boost. And we can, of course, slow down by holding B. And we'll kind of uh, slow ourselves. That can be useful for if you're trying to land on a very specific area when you jump off. Well, that's a huge relief. I don't know about you, Link, but your loft wing looks like he's flying great. My father and the others are probably worried about your birds, so let's go give them the good news. So there you go. It's a very brief introduction to flying. They probably could have done with like an optional bigger tutorial because you got to be pretty precise in a few places, but um, I, you know, I guess that'll get you started. Your locked wing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy's been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. No. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great. Because you and your dumb bird can't tell time, all the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Ooh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Drews has been going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour and a ruffle about her. <laughs> pretty much. I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm going to be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I going to let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Dude, what's your problem, man? Come on. Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I can, I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Groose. Groose. Behind you. Right behind you. What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of... Gah! Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? I, uh, nothing big, really. Just, just... Link, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. <laughs> Look at that walk, man. <laughs> I don't know if that's confidence or arrogance. Probably a little of both. Hey, Groose, wait up. Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down, I think you do too. <laughs> Us alone? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Come on, Link. Try to focus for once. <laughs> the wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Link. All right, so yeah, it's definitely race time, but I think we're actually going to stop it right here. Next time, we will participate in the wing ceremony and see if we can get our special alone time with Zelda. <laughs> so until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.